Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're rebuilding an equalizer bar for a D9R. Sitting right here, I'm gonna start by cutting the old frame off this thing, so whoever tore this tractor down, not putting any names out there, but they may have been really lazy and uh, just cut the frame out. So now, I'm gonna have to cut the rest of the frame here and punch that pin out. Hopefully that works. Alright guys, for those of you who don't know, this is what goes underneath the tractor and this is what holds the track frames and basically oscillates it as its suspension. So this is like what the, they call it, sometimes they call it the walking beam, uh, but we have a customer, there's, I think the ear broke off and they need a, a new replacement. So we're going to go ahead, put all new bearings and seals in this thing and hopefully have it ready to go first thing in the morning for our customer to get them back up and running. Hey, it's of course. Ah! Oh no. Ah! 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 Alright, let's get a sledgehammer and once that doesn't work then we'll keep cutting. Fail. Wait, let me think. Or should we just use our big Well, this pin is tapered. Yeah, so you hit it. I gotta think which side yeah. holds it in. There, it says front right there. Okay, so then it needs to go towards the back. Right. Yeah, it needs to go that way though. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we gotta cut this side. You wanna get the torch again? Yeah, so the pin is tapered and when you press it in, it's like a big V-shape, so it's pressed into here. So we need to cut this and relieve that pressure, and then it's going to push out that way. Hopefully. That's the plan. My plans never seem to work. Oh, the gas is off. The gas is off! going you're yeah. not gonna see it on that end because it's like hoping yeah through. do you want the big hammer probably a good idea okay oh this is spawn should have went to college
She's going. She's going. Okay, let's cut it some more. again. And I can gu guarantee people are saying, Wear gloves, wear gloves. You know what happens when you wear freaking gloves when you're using a torch? A piece of metal goes into, oh, into your gloves. freaking yeah. glove and melts your skin. It's moving. Oh yeah, we got her. She split. She split real good. Okay. That's what I'm gonna try. We need to try and pry it. Cool. Alright, give me the torch.
Is it going anymore? Oh yeah, she is. That thing really wants to be on there. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Okay, so now we're gonna get real smart here. I need the Milwaukee grinder with a flat disc. We're gonna take all those edges off of it. So she should just send. Yes! Yes! Yeah! No! We need to get these seals out. Get over to the press. Press those bearings out of there. And start sending new bearings in. You guys are gonna come with me. We gotta go pull a set of bearings for this thing. We have them on the shelf somewhere. Hopefully we do, because they showed that we did in our system. So I'm going to go ahead, run into the warehouse while he is getting this bar prepped to go into the press. We're going to run into the warehouse and get those bearings. Fudge! It's in this box. Where's the ladder? Well, good thing I own the place. Come on, box. Hold up. Bearing self aligning. There's one. Oh. There's two. Is he going? Mm, maybe. Split it. Yeah. These are always such a pain in the asshole to get out.
There's going to be a little snap ring in here. About time for a new air gun. Nice, bud. Okay, snap ring time. Give it a smash your fingers. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Oh, yeah. Customification. Customification. Oh, it's so close. Pinched there. Oh, oh God. God. Nice. Okay, cool. Okay, so why don't we go ahead, put this back up into the press, and then uh, we'll press them out. Then we'll clean everything. Let's let's yeah. press everything out, and then uh, then wash it up. Okay, so 
we went and we got all the boards cleaned up. And here, got all the burrs knocked off. This one turned out really good. But uh, now, we're ready to go ahead and press these bearings, get our snap rings in, and put our seals in. I'm going to flip it on its side, and then we're going to shove it forward. Okay, now we're going to start tipping. I'm going to go down a bit more. Okay. Now watch out. Get that block out of there. Okay. We do have a snap ring in here. Yep, so I know. That's one we know it's not. Well, there's no snap ring on this side. Well, the other side. Yep. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get away with that. We might need to get closer. Nah, we definitely are not going to get away with that. No way. Yep. We need to get like a cup. Some sort of cup that goes over that perfectly. Sure. Probably work. Okay. Yeah, it's just off too freaking much. Well, we may get away with it. I don't think we will. Nope, 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 ain't gonna get away with it. So give me a hammer. Just gonna try to beat it. No, I'm gonna tap it on the side. Big hammer, huh? bit more. You're hitting, on, you're hitting on this right there. Just barely. That's pretty let's, much. Let's see if we can get something that goes that's a little smaller. Actually, yeah, it needs to go farther because we need to get the snap yeah. ring in it. Well, figuring it out, I guess. Too small. Mm. How far do you have to go for the snap ring? I'm watching, I'm watching. Okay. Oh, ways. Okay. Oh, she's freaking perfect, bud. Nice. Nice! Salama lama ding dong, bud. Now it's time for the seal. Now I always buy an extra one of these because I know I'm gonna jack one of them up. Because usually they fit tight. Yeah. Tight as heck. Big plate? Yeah, let's see if we can find one that fits. Yeah, see they they fit so tight in here, you gotta get it perfect. Or else it ain't gonna fly. And you usually end up jacking one up. Usually. Are you pressing it? Yeah. You can't hit them in. I've tried that. Doesn't work. Just go nice and just go. 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 Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Hold up. One more. Good. Let it go. Yeah, dude. It never goes like that. That never works. We need to do a little bit more. Yeah, we got to go a tiny bit right here. And I want to say this too. Normally, I would not use this to press something super heavy, but this is a seal. It takes no pressure. It's going to be fine. Pushing on the metal. Set. You're done. Let me get something super small. Mm -hmm. Can 
you try that little bit smaller plate? Nah, I don't wanna. Let's do it like this. Go down. <laughs> That's why it wouldn't go. Go now. To add a stroke? Yeah. I wonder why this end is doing that. What is not right about you? Damn that blows! Well, gotta do shit right. I can't do shit wrong. So, we're gonna hammer it out. And then, we're gonna find out what I did wrong. And why it did not lay in there exactly how I wanted it to lay in there. She'll go now. Okay, you ready, bud? Let's start with the long one. We'll start right there. Okay, come up. Go down. sitting high. Why? It's because the, the material from where they made it, it slopes down right here. It's flat up against here. So there's nothing wrong with the first one. <laughs> yeah, she's good. Okay, next one. Nope, ain't gonna work. So, I'll pick it up and do it on the ground and flip it. It's done. Oh, it's got to go farther. You're right. Snap ring. Farther or send the snapper again? I think she'll go. Yeah. But doink. I wonder if we can put the seal in right here. Let's just try it. Yeah, this one will go. She's good. All right, ready for the seal, bud? How sketchy is it? Let's see. Oh, she'll go. Nailed it! Gucci, man. Oh, yeah. She's very good. Sweet. That worked out mint. OK, 
I'm gonna do this from now on. This is way easier. I just use the press every single time. I'm just gonna hammer them in. Oh, hold up. There you go. Okay. Dang, boy. Perfect. This is so much easier than using the tank press. Boink! Look at that hang, boy! Last Blow one. it off. Yeah! I think their D9 is like broke. Like, it's like. So when these break, the whole tractor kind of like falls down, and I think it's in a cinder pit somewhere, just like all jacked up. So, I think he's gonna be pretty happy. Honestly, we were just supposed to put seals in this thing. Well, he's getting a whole nine yards. That's what I'm saying. I saw like the bearings were no good on the end, so I was like, okay, we gotta just make it right for him. It's all about just giving customers more than what they asked for. That way they come back, right? Tap it a little bit just to make sure we're in 100%. Bam. All right, one more seal to install. Put some bearing setter in there. That'll hold that seal in there. All right, that'll hold it in there forever. I'm just going to tap it on the sides a little bit. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Tap, taparoo. Tap, tap, taparoo. Oh, yeah. Love it. When we get all, the, all of our tools cleaned up, and we'll zip these pads off really quick, and we will get it painted. Yeah, we can grease the inside of the bearings, and then uh, and seals, yeah. we'll go ahead and we'll tape around the seals. We can, we can actually grease the seals, too. Just, just grease the seals. That'll be faster. Okay. Does the same thing, too. You at Buttercup. That's good, probably. We'll just lube this all up. We'll just lube the faces of these two. This way when we paint it, and then the paint's gonna stick to the grease. I like to see it's probably a giant pain in the butt to put in with all oh, this stuff. Oh, dude. In. Dude. That's why when I saw those bearings weren't the best in this thing, it's like their, I was their like, days we have are, to yeah, fix it. Yeah, their day's them. already going to be pretty, pretty cruddy. Because I mean, I know like when we took it out of the D10, with, the yeah. boat, with everything out of there, it was still a pain in the butt. Yeah. No, you're crawling underneath the cat, and you got it jacked up, and... Super dangerous. Yeah. So we're going to try and make their day a little bit better. Oh yeah, someone said that you suck at painting on one of the comments. Okay. I'm going to show you how we paint stuff here. I'm just kidding, we're going to actually try. We're painting tractor parts. It's like, come on. All right, hold on. Put masks on.
Look at that magic. It's like magic. <laughs> no paint. I'm say smear it on like a jackass. All right. Yep, we'll let her hang to dry. Okay, guys. Well, there you have it. That was a D9R equalizer bar. We brought it in as a core. Punched the bearings out of it, cleaned it up, gave it a nice coat of paint, new seals, bearings. Hopefully the customer's happy. Let's see, what time is it? 7.30, not that bad. 7.30 at night, we got it done. It's gonna hang here overnight. It's gonna dry. Customer's gonna come pick it up in the morning. Hopefully they're nice and happy with it. Um, I know we worked hard on it and it should last a very long time. So anyway, guys, we're gonna wrap this video up right here. As always, if you have any questions, throw it down in the comment box. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more stuff like that, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.